All right. Hey guys, welcome back to another DOY Creations video. I am Jeanette, AKA Soraya. And before I get started, you guys know I always like to give glory, honor, and praise to the Most High, Yah. All right, guys, so I wanna stop in in today's video to share with you guys some finished items. And I only got, uh, well, I got a few things on my hook or getting ready to be on my hook, but I only show you what's current in front of me on my hook. So I need to go ahead and share this with you guys because I need to go ahead and get this item shipped out to the lovely person that ordered this uh, crochet cocoon. So yes, guys, I have completed another crochet cocoon. And what I was trying to do on this video, I was trying to make sure that I had the labels to the types of yarn that I used. Let me make sure. Yes, and I do have the labels of yarn that I use because sometimes I do need to go back to the video to try to find out what yarn I actually use because sometimes, um, I no, not sometimes, majority of the times, I throw away the ball band and so I'd be like, what yarn was that? I don't know. So I could just go back to the video and reference that particular yarn. But anyway, guys, the first thing I'm getting ready to share with you guys is a crochet cocoon. And I use Burnett Pop. All right. And then I used uh, the colorway is uh, Paisley Pop. So I can remember that. Paisley Pop. Let me see if I can try to show that just in case I need to reference it myself. It's kind of blowing out, but I had two skeins of this uh, Burnett Pop that has about, how much in here, guys? It has, it's 100% acrylic, and it has 280 yards. So I only had two skeins of this, of this yarn, and it made a nice size, but I wanted to kind of elaborate with the color. So I did add uh, purple to complete this co cocoon, all right? So here is, uh-oh, here is the crochet cocoon. And I love it. So you can see the Burnett pop much better here. And so what I did was, I went in a couple of rows with some purple to bring this out even more and to make it a little bit more bigger. And then I outlined it in purple too. And I think that turned out really, really nice. I am going to pop some pictures in here so you can see how my mannequin looks with this on. I got my um, tag right here, which is DOY Crochet. And what I like about this is when I make these ponchos, I'm sorry, when I make these cocoon, they pretty much one size uh, fits most unless you need a larger size from me. Um, so if you are anywhere from a small to an XL and you know how you like those oversized uh, sweaters or something like that. So this one is one size fits most and I absolutely love it. So appropriate for the fall. And again, I use Mainstay Yarn in that, I'm sorry, Pop, uh, Burnett Pop, and then some purple. And I love it, and I hope my beautiful, beautiful supporter love this as well. So that is the first thing that I made. Now, I do not have any more of this Burnett Pop yarn. So if you do decide to go ahead and place an order uh, with me, you can um, just put in the notes section when you place the order. Put in the notes section if you um, what color that you want. If I'm able to accommodate that color, that's fine because you see I got plenty of yarn back here, but I don't know exactly what color someone wants. Or I like to play around with colors. So if you say, hey, make me one and just use your imagination with colors or have you want to do it, 
let me know and then I'll make sure I accommodate you accordingly. All right. So that is the first item that I made. The second item that I made, guys, I was sharing with you all that I went to back to Hobby Lobby. If you guys did not see that video when I went back to Hobby Lobby, trying to see, just check and see what they still had available on clearance, which was nothing. Um, they just had a few items on clearance um, because, you know, we as crafters, once the word is out about a clearance at Hobby Lobby, you guys already know we on it, we done with it, we we taking all the yarn. So I just was pretty much in the neighborhood and I was like, I'm just going to go over there and just see, just for fun, what they had. And I share with you guys um, some yarn that I picked up. I share with you guys, this is, I love this yarn. I got it for $1.24. And this colorway right here is called... Um, I can see it, but I can't see it. I can, I can sort of kind of see it, but I can't exactly see it. But anyway, it's some beautiful yarn. And the thing about it is they only had one skein of this yarn. Now I'm the kind of person I can mix and match and pull something from the yarn, but I didn't do this. So what I decided to do with this yarn here is make a little girl's or maybe a teenager head and cow neck set. So here is the yarn. And that is some really pretty yarn. I love the red, the little uh, tan in there, some blues and greens and a little white. So here is the hat. Ooh, that. My white mannequin is blowing it out. But this is just a basic beanie. I love, you know what I love about this yarn? It's, it's super soft. If you guys have never worked with I love this yarn, just give it a try because the yarn is just extremely soft. But this is anywhere from a little girl to a teenager or a young adult who has a smaller head. I made a simple beanie. This is done using all double crochet and with that now this is done using one skein of yarn guys I made a cow neck scarf all right really pretty just a small not too large cow neck scarf and I realized sometimes everybody don't want the real drapey uh cow neck sometimes you want the cow neck the kind of snug a little bit it depends on how the weather is in your city and state but like here in chicago where i'm at um sometimes we like to be really kind of like close knit with our scars because it does get pretty chilly here this week guys it's been pretty cold so this is the right time to have your little cow neck scarf okay with your little hat so I thought that was really, and I used every piece of that yarn. I just got a, a little piece of strand left, but I was trying to use up all the yarn. And this is so awesome that I was able to get both a hat and scarf out of one skein of yarn of I love this yarn. So I thought that was pretty cool. Maybe I'll have it like that when I post the picture. So if you're interested, you have a little girl or a young teenager that you would like to, you know, buy a nice hat and scarf set from, let me know in the comments or send me an email and I'll get that shipped out to you. Okay. So another thing, I'm trying to see, what is this yarn? Okay, this is the Burnett Pop. I'm trying to keep up with these guys. So what are you? Oh, I had... I had someone, I had to go back to, I'm trying, I was trying to think like, why was I keeping this, I love this chunky? Well, I made last week or a couple of weeks ago, I did a tutorial on a Pacific hat and I made a um, chunky hat, red velvet, and someone bought the hat. So I went on and shipped that to her. Maybe I'll be able to post her picture in there. But then I got another order for the complete set. So I had to go back to 
Hobby Lobby and buy another I Love This Chunky. But I've already shared that. I didn't keep it because I already shared that head and scarf set with you guys. But I was trying to figure out, why are you keeping that label? I don't know. So, I was working on a... <laughs> I was working on a front post, back post. I don't know. I, I didn't know if it was going to be a hat or if I was going to make it into a scarf. And I only had one skein of yarn, so I don't even know what possessed me to even start with a front post and back post on any project. If you never work front post and back post before, that stitch there uses up a lot of yarn. So I frogged that item, took it down, and this is what I end up making, guys. I just turned this into a cow neck scarf. I was like, I only have one skein. And this is chunky yarn. And I only had one skein of it. And so I decided to, I like to make it work. And it works so well. This is so beautiful. I love using camo. Camo goes with pretty much everything. So I whipped up this cow neck scarf. And yeah, love it. So I'm going to go and actually give me some more camouflage yarn and I'm going to make a hat to go along with this camo. So that's another thing. And I shared with you guys this hat on a previous video. If you remember this hat, this is done using uh, front loop, back loop all the way through. And then at the bottom, I did the front post, back post, starting off with your basic. If you guys would like to see the tutorial on how I created this uh, front loop, back loop hat, I will make sure that I leave this link down below. But as I was trying to go through some of my yarn, I realized I had almost another skein of this blue right here. And I was like, I didn't know I had the rest of this one here. So what I'm going to do is make a cow neck scarf to go with this. And I'm going to have this as a set and I'll just post it on my website. So that's what I'm, I'm about right now. I'm trying to really get all my hats and scarves sets. So what I do around this time, guys, I usually... Go through my inventory because I have a lot of people who want the hat and not the scarf or they want the scarf and not the hat. And I try to accommodate however you want, however you want it. So what I do around this time right here, uh, I got my bin pulled out. I'm going to see everything that doesn't have a matching set. I will be making them into sets. And then I'm going to post them as hats and scarf sets. And then I, I just like that. I think that's just the right way to showcase my products. Now, if it's, it's something that I just can't um, get any match to, and then I'll just sell those hats separately. Or if it's scarves and I just can't get the proper match to it, I'll sell the scarves separately. But I like to go through my inventory and see what I have and then match them up with hats and scarf sets. That's what I do. How do you guys go through you through your inventory? So I'm going to go and pull out everything and I'll probably just come back to you guys and show you how I matched up everything. And so it can always be assessed whether I sell it or whether I give them as gifts. I like to, when I give it as a gift, I prefer giving it to you as a set and I have no problem with you plan it forward if that's not your style or if it's someone that's specifically asking for it um you know they can get it the way they want to so that is all that i have completed guys i got so many other things that's on my crochet hook i'm not in a hurry because i'm becoming i'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed so i just want to make sure i do everything in a timely fashion okay all right guys thank you so much for tuning in to another doy creations video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe hit your bell settings to all so you would get notified each time i upload videos and until next video always remember y'all some 68 4 in your king james version always keep your life and your health in check and i'll see you guys in my next video bye for now